In today's video, learn about how your personality type makes good decisions and what you can do to make better decisions. The truth is every single personality type has a prime directive. And if you look at the best decision makers in the world, they all rely on this prime directive to make fast and good decision. Starting with INFJs and ISFJs. INFJs and ISFJs get the most motivation to make decisions when they consult their extroverted feeling. This function puts them in a situation where they have to let go of their perfectionism and tendency to overanalyze and instead focus on other people. What can I do to make other people a bit happier, a bit more loved? How can I help people connect with each other and how can I be humane? How can I set a good positive human role model and example from the world to follow? When you use this as a decision making criteria, you'll find that it's a lot easier for you to make decisions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let's get on with it. Now, if you're an INTJ or an ISTJ, what you'll find is what you have to do is you have to break out of that self-pity and you have to break into your inner strength and resolve. INTJs and ISTJs should prioritize becoming strong, empowered, confident individuals. That means gaining the skills and capabilities that allow you to compete and to take power and to take authority in the world. INTJs and ISTJs, they make decisions based on how they can become stronger, how they can become better, and how they can drive better results with extroverted thinking. ESTJs and ESFJs tend to get stuck in the grass is greener syndrome, and that can cause them to overthink decisions. But ESTJs and ESFJs get the most motivated when they're offered genuine, real, and lasting commitment. ESTJs and ESFJs are motivated by taking responsibility. ENTJs and ENFJs make and get the most motivation the bigger and the more complex and more multifactored and multidynamic a vision or a project is. The longer it goes on for and the more focus and concentration and resolve it requires, the more motivating and interesting it is to an ENTJ or an ENFJ. ENFPs and ESFPs get the most motivation from being more honest. What is the most honest, authentic thing that you could do in this specific situation? What would you do if you chose to be your best version of yourself, your most true version of who you are? How can you be honest in every action you take, in every decision you make? That's uh, your decision-making prime directive as an ESFP or ENFP. ENTPs and ESTPs. ENTPs and ESTPs get the most motivation from making decisions that will make them push their power level a little bit higher. ESTPs and ENTPs love generating new capabilities and skills. What is something you can learn to do slightly better than what you did yesterday? What is something you can improve on? What is something you can step up from what you usually did, from what you ever did before? ISTPs and ISFPs. ISFPs and ISTPs get more motivation from getting out into the world. What will help you get out into the world? What will help you engage others? What will help you reach others? What will help you have a positive, measurable, visible impact on the world around you? What will make your situation today a little bit better? INFPs and INTPs. INFPs and INTPs get the most motivation from focusing on what's next. What is the next big thing you can do that will get you one step further? What is the new thing you could try that you've never done before? What is something you could do that's slightly different from anything you've ever tried? What is a new situation or experience that you can engage with that will help you figure and think from new perspective. So that was it for all the personality types except the ones that I forgot. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.